you know, general. So, um, Miss Simmon Simmonson has returned to the, to the, uh, you know, the YouTubes. And, uh, you know, she says she's an enlightened centrist, you know. Look at all those nuances. The world's full of nuance, you know, all those individuals. Yeah, they all look at those individuals, I said. You know, she's had a good, like, what, a few months off, a year off the internet. Now she's back, yeah. She got married, she had a son. So, you know, she's living the trad life, I guess. You know, the life that, um, that's tiny, you know, advised her to have during that, uh, 2018, I believe. Um, there was a lot of, like, debate that was going on. You know, there was Nikki, that's tiny, Roy Millennial, her, um, ContraPoints. Maybe someone else. You know, and uh, this time he said, you know, if you guys are being trapped and all that, why aren't you, you know, if you're the talk about this trap, why are you living that life? You know, they give an excuse as a new and new. But anyway, at least he's followed his advice, it seems, and actually went trapped. Hmm. But anyway, I decided to look at, you know, uh, before she la she left, she she put on Borderless 2019. Okay? So there's a little commentary about the border. Getting a European border getting you know swamped, getting flooded, and uh, you know looking at, at the whole thing, and a lot of people were saying that it was lukewarm, it was a lukewarm take, kind of you know like milk toast. So what do I think of it? I've watched pretty much almost all of it. <sighs> yes, uh, well yes, uh, these people are right. It is milk toast, very milk toast. Very, especially the conclusion is the conclusion is just so milk toast, you know. So extremely bad thoughts. And the problem with the, 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 the here's the thing, the beginning, from the beginning, the documentary predicates on seems the idea because don't we, what, what is the documentary made for anyway? The really main thing is that it's predicating the idea that Europeans have to justify why they should they they don't accept or why why they won't, won't accept my words. Right? They should justify this. It's like no, no, Europeans don't have to justify anything. Um, nobody has to justify anything. No, no nation on Earth has to justify why they won't accept um, refugees, whatever, whatever, whoever wants to let it, or whoever go in. It's uh, refugees who have to justify why they let in. But here we have this weird framing where uh, you know trying to justify, you know, why kind of trying to justify why they shouldn't be let in, or whatever. And it is just a mistake. Uh, what sh the line should be? Look, it's our country. So you got to decide who is let in, who is not, and and so not. And if you want to let in people, fine, but if not, then that's fine. If you try to morally condemn us, then fuck off. That should be the attitude. Because, uh, you know, oh, how dare you? It's like, no, go away, sure. <laughs> I don't care. It should be a case of we don't care what you have to say. We set the rules. Well, who's, uh, but no, instead, um, what happened is that these people have decided to simply cave, give in, concede their powers, even over their own nations. And allow themselves to be cajoled and, you know, why not, and, you know, um, conde uh, morally condemned, yeah, you know, so this moral condemnation is sent on them, because, oh, no, you won't allow, you know, these uh, random people to s swamp in. Well, fact is that, again, it's a rest, uh, we accept the right of self-determination of nations and sovereignty, and part of this is, of course, the very fact, you know, part of this, of course, is the very fact of matter that, you know, within the jurisdiction of each state, you know, the people of the state can decide to, you know, let people in or not. So, if this is the case, if people are allowed to just let them so in or out, there's no justification, and you don't, they don't need to give a justification for this. And a lot, in a lot of different, um, and a lot of different, you could say, um, other spheres, even private property, this thing has been implemented as well. For example, you have a business and you don't want to leave for whatever the hell you don't want to leave in, right? For whatever reason. And now, it's almost like you have to give a, a valid reason why don't you let someone in. It's like, what? No, I don't have to give nobody a valid reason to let someone in. But this is the case. You know, th this is the case. Um, now you do have to, you have do have to give a reason for it. And if they find that the reason you give is not, you know, um, the proper reason, then, you know, then it's trouble time, and you're in trouble. But, you know, this is not how it should be, you know, of course not. It should be a matter of, okay, you don't want to leave someone in, okay, whatever, that's your decision, it's your property. 
Yeah, unless there's some sort of covenant or something that you sign that says you have to let the people in. Uh, unless there's some sort of contract which says so. Should be less than, should just be able to decide whether you're not going to let people, certain people in or not. For whatever reason, you know? Or well, hire people, whatever it is. But, you know, we have all these things to prevent that from happening. Based on certain arbitrary, you know, conditions. In this case, again, yes. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, pretty milk toast. You know, milk toast talking about, well, okay, so simple. Well, are they, you know, invading? You know? Uh, do they do they intend to do whatever? And, you know, that's a problem, right? Do they intend to destroy? It's like, well, maybe they don't intend to destroy, but you're looking at a point of view of you, right? You look at a, your point of view. Like, you're looking at a point of view from the direction of Europe outward. At least that's, what, that's how you should be looking at. And when you see these people swarm in, it doesn't matter what their intentions are. I mean, you cannot really puzzle the intentions out anyway. Um, you just have to trust on what you're seeing. What you're seeing is this match of swamping from outside to inside the European continent. And to, to people inside the continent, you, you see this massive swamping of people. What is that? Well, it's very simple. It's invasion. Now, you know, the people inside, right, who are looking outside, looking out, outward, yes, it is indeed, a, you know, swamping, flooding. You know, just mass, what's an invasion? Invasion is just a mass of other people swamping in. Um, and many times forcibly, right? By the way, the border being unsecure doesn't mean anything. Um, the the border can be insecure and open, whatever, and unprotected. It's still invading, right? They're just invading with minimal resistance. That's what's happening. Uh, or you and you can even make it in a sense of like maybe even the people who are supposed to be guarding the border, um, you know, have decided to you know just give up the duties, you know, to, to not do the duties for whatever reason. So that is the case. But right? you know, I mean, um, so do you? Ex <laughs> But yeah, you see, so it was already milk toast um, in 2019. So now she's back, and now she said, I'm a centrist. Holy moly. How, how milk toast is going to be now? Like, wow. If she says she's a centrist, she's going to be giga. <laughs> giga milk toast. Freaking Charlie Kirk here, probably. You know, all those nuances. We're going to bring in all those nuances, you know? All those nuances. That's what we're going to do. Probably these times, it's not time for nuance. Not anymore. You know, who the hell cares about nuance anymore? Who cares? We've already seen the last few weeks and nobody gives a damn about nuance. Nobody gives a damn about the details or the... Oh, oh, well, it's not black or white. It's, you know, it's something in between. It's a gray area. Nobody gives a damn about that anymore. Nobody gives a damn about the gray. Now it's just the black or white. We've seen it, right? Sometimes literally. So, you know, what the hell do you expect? You know, what do you have to expect when they come back and come, oh, we got new ones. It's like, we, we have no time for this. We have no time for this. We want, we, we don't want grifty people who want to grift around and, you know, this new ones crap, this milk toast crap is this. It's, well, I don't want to be called bad words. So I'm going to make, I'm going to try to put out a message and make it strip it of really any solid, like, you know, hard, Strip it like a solid core, right? And make it this sort of, sort of like, uh, marshmallowy mass. You know, this is what we're trying to do, like, make it to a marshmallow. Make it mellow, you know, so I don't, I can't be called bad words. Now, I'll say they're gonna be called bad words regardless, but, you know, uh, whatever may be, you know, they're gonna be melted out. It's, it's a question, but yeah, I mean, no. No, no, no. No point, no point in doing it anymore. No point. Well, maybe there is a point, though, because, I mean, her account, S Simpsons account, has 682,000 subscribers. So maybe milk toast has worked. I don't know. Well, it, it worked back then, I guess, um, the last few years. But I think that uh, recently, the, it, that time is gone. Huh? Yeah, that time is just gone. You know? Sure, IBS is not back, but, you know, it doesn't need to be IBS, you know? It just has, It just has to be a matter of... How much how much resolution do we really want in this? Right now we're in in ultra low resolution mode. In the sense that we want minimal details possible. We wanna look at the context. We don't really well like yeah, we wanna look at our general big, big picture, not really at you know, at the components or whatever. That's what's going on, right? 
We're not really looking at tactics, really strategy. Trying to strategize about what to do. Because Okay, you need to make a, a hard you need to make a hard line, right? You need to be able to look at the line and be like, okay, we gotta this is where you gotta draw the line. This is where you gotta stand. Because again, there's so much concept again, you can so many concessions that have been going on. And <laughs> You know, of course, what do you expect from concessions? What do you expect about concessions? If you're going to have to constantly justify every single move you make, right? This side has to justify every single move it makes, it has to justify it. But the other side doesn't have to justify anything. You know, it's one side that many other justifications, the other one has to give it a while. Those are not win. All these things are win. It's much, it's much easier to, you know, demand to be given justification for things than to actually, than to give it, of course. So... You know, you're really bad off having to constantly give these justifications out. And it's probably a bad idea to do so. Probably a bad idea to constantly be giving them, you know, because they're trying to, like, leak him out. But anyways, uh, whatever happens, whatever happens to the people, or to whoever, I guess one thing we should recognize, you know, is that the time of, you know, this sort of grifting, time of grifting, so nearing its end. Grifters, Griffra, one Griffra and another has, has been toppled, has fallen. Right? One after another has fallen. One after another has fallen. So, um, who knows how she, what she's gonna make? Maybe the simps are going to, you know, rally back behind her, but, um, you know, it's, people are not really in the mood for this stuff. People aren't really in the mood at all, you know? People are in the mood for more of this, but they also, uh, yeah, all these people are, let's say, like, a documentary in the end, it's like, well, these people are swamping the continent, and we have, we have evidence that they have, you know, been doing a bunch of illegal activities, but they have feelings, they have feelings, and they have this and that, right? This type of thing is just, like, terror stuff, it's like, nobody, nobody wants this anymore, nobody cares, nobody cares if you have feelings, nobody cares if you have this or that. Tactics come to... Times have become too difficult for this emotional, you know, trap trap. It's it's time for hard facts to be backed by, you know, a hard statement. You know, this time of trying to, like, here's a fact, but let me soft the blow and just make the facts completely, utterly meaningless. That time is over. It's over. But anyway, um... So another thing to notice, though, is that, you know, so why did she leave anyway? Oh, did she, did she got married and all that stuff, but let's face it, I mean, the, the the most important reason why it happened was because, you know, our, our beloved boy, well, supposedly beloved boy, was about to, you know, well, Mr. Fabulous was about to re dump a ton of um, really bad stuff, really bad news. And uh, coincidentally, she bumps. She she leaves just when that, just when he announces and stuff. That's when she mobilizes to leave. What a coincidence! Isn't that a coincidence? She wraps up this thing, and then the Mr. Fabulous comes up, and oop, I'm leaving. And now Mr. Fabulous is not me forgotten. Nobody cares a damn about Mr. Fabulous anymore. So now she's back. You know, the, she's where the storm apparently doing other things while the internet you know imploded. And while everyone else has been, you know, met, um, everyone else is being steamrolled, all the, everyone's channels getting destroyed and everything, and throttled and all this, she's come back, you know, and she's going to be doing great, I guess, maybe? She's going to be more milk toast. You know what the milk toast really means, though? It means I want to grift, but, you know, if I, I probably realize that the, the line, the, the demarcation line has moved. So, you know, move with the demarcation line, right? Move with the line because you got to keep making money. And again, makes money. You know how much money it makes to be, um, you, you know why people are milk toast and dishonest in a way? And try to soften everything, melt everything? Because it makes money. Again, you know what, what, I mean, think of grifting. Why does grifting even exist? Because these things make money. That's the whole, that's why you know, grifting is even possible. Because being, you know, here's the thing. If, 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 let's say, if not being soft and being hard and sad, being hard on the facts and all this thing, you know, and being hard on your convictions, if this made money, do you think, what do you think? The grifters will probably do that, right? But we would like that, and we wouldn't call that grifting. The only thing we call grifting is when the other thing, because that makes money, yeah. 
So, or at least tell me no to the grifting. That's when we say, you know what, I don't like this. I don't like the fact that, you know, you're being dishonest kind of and soft and, you know, making the message, diluting the message, uh, the, diluting the message in this, like, this emotional feeling thing. I, I think, in a way, uh, it, it, because also the last commentary that Borales focused a lot on, well, the people who are coming here, well, we gotta look at from their point of view, and look how these poor, these poor, poor guys, they've been lied to, you know, they've been lied to by these people, you know, it wasn't as good as they, th they were told it was gonna be, so, you know, we are gonna feel sorry for them, right, you gotta feel sorry for them, it's like, no, they gotta be, it, it, no, people gotta be felt sorry for Europeans, people gotta be felt sorry for the people, who have been the receiving end of the flooding of the swamping, right? Those people are the ones who should really feel sorry for, not the not the people swamping, right? And while their countries are a mess, it's like, well, who made them in a mess? Sure, we had some uh, pro problems with a particular country making countries in a mess, along with its, um, you know, its people, its workers in, its influencers in America. Sure, they've had a part of it, and uh, you know. The country's gonna be messed up a little bit by that, but in the end, there's a freaking reason why their country specifically are getting messed up and not others. You know, it's that you know, and they talk about glows. You know, oh, well, the glows, the glows did this and that. Well, the only reason the glows are the glows can only really destabilize countries who are already destabilized, already like prone to be destable, destabilized, right? What do you, what what they do is they come into. I think this is a part part. Which people are gonna often often do. Well, the, these people, these countries are a mess because others made it a mess. Eh, not really. They were just a mess, and then they were turned into a hot mess. I guess. Yeah, I guess I was saying it was like a a mess waiting to happen, and then someone came in around and said, "Hmm, actually, I think I I'd, I'd like to heat um, heat things up a little bit." So they put it on fire, and now you have a hot mess. That's what happens, lady. You you. A stable, fully healthy, like fully functional society. It's not gonna be some glory. It's not gonna be able to just come in and just like tear it apart. It's it it it, it, it there has to be the seed of you know the, the seed of this like dark seed that can be exploited then for destabilization purposes and destabilization whatever. That's the thing with countries, right? Societies don't suddenly out of nowhere just tumble. They always must be the seed, the seed of this dark seed, some weakness. Some friction point or friction line. Oh, there has to be something, right? It doesn't just happen out of nowhere. It has to be something. So uh, yeah. But anyway, I just want to talk about you know. I want to connect you know with the her documentary Borderless with her return. So we'll see what she how she's gonna be making what documentary she's gonna be making. One of its. Uh, let's see how 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 soft the to the things that we make. Hey, maybe she surprised us. Maybe it's a uh, complete. It's probably actually harder than it was. Who knows? But very big dub, big dub. You know, really big, big dub. That it's gonna be big. Ninety nine percent, but nine percent, nine percent, nine percent chance it's gonna be soft as heck. You know, softy, softy as heck. You know, and you know even the thing is that a lot of cases they're going so soft. I mean, they could go a little harder and not break. I guess the thing it's it's not that they'll necessarily get like you know, you know, railed over, run run over by the railings if they, you know, if they go a little if they go hard, right? They won't get kicked out necessarily, but it just doesn't make enough it as uh, much money. So, fifty time. It's really a question, though. I mean, if, do they do it consciously? I really wonder. Do they do they grifties even do it consciously, or do they just? Do, is it just that you know in their mind they see, oh, let's make more money, so let's do that, do that more, and then they just naturally drift that direction. You know, I was, you know, we always whining about, well, you know, these freaking grifty. But you know, the, the real question is, I, I said that they drift into that. Is it just that they drift in, they drift for more money, right? And I said they want more money. I think there's a seed. Yeah, there's a seed in them, and that seed says, I want more money. I want to do this for money. And then maybe in the beginning they did do it. They were um, they were going full hard on. Uh, they were full hard, and they were, you know, fighting the fight. But then they saw the money, and they, they, that's it. They wanted it. Wanted they gave a take that was not as hard as all. So the soft. Wanted did a soft take, and they saw, hey, that soft take got a ton of approval and a ton of money, or way more money than well, more money than all the other ones did. And they said, well, maybe I should do more of that take because I make more money, right? And then. 
slowly, slowly, steadily, more and more becomes that until finally the entire thing is just soft. I really wonder. But anyways, generals, that's all I want to comment for now, and uh, see ya.